Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nino Sport, man. This is Leicester City career mode. This is episode number 11, episode number one of season two. Today, I will be signing new players only. I will not play even one game in this episode. It's only new players, so that should be a shortest episode ever for this career mode. But yeah, that's what I want to do. We had a successful um, episode, uh, season one. What am I saying? I can't talk. Um, hopefully, season two will be even more successful for us. But so far, it all looks good, man. Let's get into our new signings and see. First, we're gonna have to look at Dombela, man. I really like Dombela. I haven't used him in the career mode so far, so I think that I can sign him. Uh, but I was also looking at Harry Wings. He recently moved to Villarreal, 57 million release on Klaus. Let me try this, guys. Between 39 and 58, but his current value is 50. So let me try and see what I can do here. He might be our most expensive player in this transfer window but then we have money man we have more than 130 million i would give them 30. Moreno wants 45. it's quite a lot i don't want to do that i will give him 35.8 he takes it he takes it he cut his initial fee with 10 million that's good it's a good negotiation that one uh, who's next? I need Ginter, I need a centre back since um, Boateng is a little bit struggling to solve our problems at the back. I'm gonna go for Ginter and see if that can be a good deal as well. His current value is 22 million. I think he can cost me around 30. I don't have a centre back to swipe with, honestly speaking. I don't have Morgan Hall is not going He's our youth player so I'm not gonna let him go uh, looking at our midfield I will use Priyat they take Priyat oh my god and they want 27 it's not bad 27 is not bad but I will take it down I wanna give them Priyat and 20 and see if they can take that they still want 27 plus 5 percent sell on clothes oh my god no man i think it's too much 21.8 it's okay i'll take that one it's okay for me second signing is in we still have to negotiate his salary though another guy i want to sign is Mbaro. sorry about my phone god there's no timing to these people uh wanna see if i can make any swipe deals here um uh, no i don't think i have a player ready that i can use here i will just um let me see the full bags let me give them amateur they take amateur but they want 16. i don't know his fee but i know it's a little bit expensive now uh let's give them 10 plus amateur which will make it 15. I think that will be around this fee. They want 11.5 and amateur. I'll take that 16.5. It's okay for me. Mm, that is the third signing. We still have to negotiate the um, wages. The fourth signing is going to be loaning the young goalkeeper from Real Madrid who, who was on loan last season. So I'm going to try and sign him in. I don't know his fee, but I think 16 will do. Oh, Zidane wants 19.6. Zidane can be a problem sometimes. Negotiating with Zidane is a problem. It's always a problem. But I think he's smart in real life. So yeah, even in the games like that, he always plays tricks. Him and Pep Guardiola, they always be hard to negotiate with the next player i want to sign is nkuku it is nkuku i really 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 like nkuku i never use nkuku unfortunately i never use nkuku so i'm trying to sign players i never used 
but who are exciting, who are very good. I don't care if it's realistic or not, but I will try to sign them. Uh, I tried what it didn't work. We need to try another player, I think. Um, no, 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 no. I don't have a center back to give them. I don't want to let Jerome Boateng go because I need my second team to be strong as well. So if I let Jerome Boateng go, it means that my second team will be weak defensively because Johnny Evans left. He signed a contract with, um, I, I don't remember the team that he signed a contract with, but he left. Let's give them money, straight money. Um, I'll say 25. Let's see. They want 39. Um, 30. 39. Oh my god. Uh, maybe I need to try something else. But let me try 30 again. Okay. They took it. I know that this can happen to AI. So we have 5 players that we need to bring in. Let's negotiate their salaries. Hopefully everything will go well. But I don't usually fumble on salaries. I know I'm good with that. It's easy to beat the AI on salaries. So let's hope that this will work. If you hear some noise in the background, I'm sorry about it. My neighbor is playing music. So yeah, you might hear something, but yeah, hopefully you're not hearing music. Of course, I don't want any copyright strikes in this. Ginter is currently on 37. He wants to be crucial. It's okay. I, I think I can give him that. Because Boateng, I think he took a contract of being an important first team player. So he can sit on the bench and he's old. Side that he's too old. He wants 84. OMG. That's huge though. From 34 to 84. That's, he's doubling his salary here. Then the next player I'm gonna negotiate with is Nkoko because I don't know his, um, his salary and I don't want to lose out on Nkoko. It's very important to me. We still have quite a lot of money, yeah? 85 million and we have like 4.7. We have 470 on salary. So it's quite a lot. He wants 58. Uh, I want to take that down to 55. Oh god, he wants 57. Okay, I will take 57. Um, who's next now? Two players are in. I'm gonna negotiate Ndombela. It's crucial that I get Ndombela. I like Ndombela. I was thinking of Campbell. I used Campbell, I think it was FIFA 14. I use him, he was a great player back then, hopefully he's still a great player, but I'm not gonna sign him in this career mode, maybe in my next career mode if I'm gonna play another one before, an exciting day for 21. Uh, he's taking an important first team player role, I think I'm good with that, uh, yeah I'm good with that, because Tillamans might come back and he might demand his starting spot in the team i'll disregard that he wants the um, 82 million release on class i would say 92. what is he saying back to 82. no i think it's too small man i think it's too small let's say 90 straight he accepted that well done dombella 90 million so whoever wants to buy dombella will have to pay close to 100 million 70 on salaries what is he gonna say he was on 93 i don't think he will take 70 though i think he will go to 80 or something like that um he won 78 it's okay it's okay it's not that much uh he's in who's next it's loaning I still have to decide on the striker as well because I need another striker. Vadi is 33 this season. He's getting old. He's going to start dropping drastically, especially his speed. I realize that his speed is already dropping. So I need to get the backup striker, a fast one like him. He wants to be a rotation for years. I think I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. 
um, 65 on wedges. I will just change that. I don't want um, the, that to be too close. 20 clean sheets, I'll give you your money then. Okay, then it's good. He's in. Uh, let's get Lonin before we go and look for a striker. Let's get Lonin quickly. Uh, rotation. Uh, is it fine? Yeah, rotation is okay. It's okay. I think I'm going to play him in the second team so that he's not going to complain too much. Uh, his salary, I don't know his salary, but I think 50 will be fine. He's still a young boy, 21 years of age. Uh, if I was going to do uh, um, season 3, I think I was going to have to sign uh, Donnarumma as the replacement of Kaspar Schmeichel. Now we need to decide on the striker. I decided already I want to go for Grant. I have two options, it's either Grant or Emmanuel Boteng. But Emmanuel Boteng, not ready. Grant is an English player. It's even more realistic to me. So I'm gonna try to sign him. 11.2 million. 15% on release on, on sell on class. I want to give them 10. Um, and here, what are they gonna say there? They say 11.3, they don't want to change. I still want to counter that. 10.5, what are you saying? They take it, 10.5. That's why I like negotiating, man. It's a, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that they added this feature. You can negotiate and it's transparent. Hopefully they are not taking it out on FIFA 21 because we really, really need it. I, I just hope that they add things. He wants to be periodic. It's okay. Oh yes, I want five. I want five. You're still young, though. I might not play for those five years, but I want to make sure that you are in this club for so long. Uh, 64. Oh, that's a little bit high. You are getting 29. You want 64? At least take 60. Let's double your salary. Don't go to triple it. Um, we remove that appearances. I don't like them. He takes that, he accepts it. That was our sixth signing of the episode. And that's that. That's that. I know Diallo he was a good player to sign, but he's still young, he's still inexperienced. I like players with experience going to the Champions League because I will be facing teams like Barcelona, like Real Madrid, um, of course, Man City, Liverpool, Bayern. You know, all those teams that are going to give me problems. So I need to match their standards, really. And Dombella, um, I need to take these players up. We have quite a good squad. But as you can see, our bench was terrible. 63. It's like mid-60s. His higher 60s. So Jones. So we needed the players that can step up. Because... Remember, we're going to play some games on Sunday and some on Tuesdays, which means we cannot use the same players. We need to rotate the team, even though the rotation is fucked up in this game. It's really fucked up, honestly speaking, because uh, if, if a player can miss one game, he's going to start complaining that you are, he's not playing as much as he should. Of which is wrong, EA. You need to fix that. It should take a player like maybe five games in the row to complain about game time or 10 games in the row to complain about game time anyway there is no one who's guaranteed to be a starter in any team here for me i think the starting should be based on your performance of your um, form but uh, i hope next season it's gonna work because i heard they are trying to do some other good things that they are trying to add there so yeah Hopefully next next uh, season of which is gonna be FIFA 21, not next season, next vision of FIFA, of which is FIFA 21. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be enjoyable with that mechanism that that they are adding there, that you're gonna be able to tell um, when the player is tired, is ready for a game or not. So if the player is ready or not, I think that's exactly what we need now. 
if he's not ready for a game, then he should not complain that he's sitting on the bench. But that's how my starting 11 is gonna look now. Atal is gonna be a starter in this uh, season, which means I'm gonna be benching uh, Perez a little bit. Uh, we look ready for our next game. It's gonna be Baco. Alvadi is still gonna start. Then Atal as well. It's gonna start. Um, the midfield, we're gonna have one change. Uh, Tillamans is injured, so we're gonna have um, Dombella. He's out for six weeks. Ton Hip Flexor. Okay? It's gonna be out for some time. So it's the chance for Dombella. Then we have Grand. I really like Grand, man. Look at, did you see Vardy? He already dropped one and 14 percent on his um on his uh, value that should tell you that this season is gonna struggle but we have this guy 92 sprint speed is way too fast buddy it's way too fast uh but then other than that guys that will be that for this episode thank you so much for the support in the last episode please don't forget to like and subscribe if you knew and share on your social media thank you for your support all the way uh, even though they are also talk crap about other people's stuff thank you guys for sticking with me and support me all the way thank you bye thank you.